The Empire State is back, baby. We're playing two at Watkins Glen, the fastest road course in North America, I like to call it. Back in the booth with my man, Zach Wall 3 tv But today he's on camera, man. We got Eric Monaco joining as a co-commentator from his home state of New York. Eric, say hi to the fans, buddy. Hello, everybody. Awesome, Eric. Thank you for joining us, man. Eric, it's going to be an interesting race. We got some pre-race headlines to get to. But first, your expectations for the Glen, and we'll go around the room here. We'll start with Eric. Well, uh, guys, look out here today. It's got to be the guys in the deadline for the for the uh, or the de- zone for the cut line. You know, uh, we see uh, Drippy Scheib in the 54. He he's a uh, he he's a uh, bit. But uh, also uh, Dark X Rain and on 15th, he he's uh, one point above the cut line, but he. I have a yes, but a good finish here. He has the opportunity. Has all the all the major points players. They're they're starting in the back. Yeah, we'll get to some of those major points players. But first, Zach, you saw the first race here. Talk to us a little bit about the last race at Bristol and what to expect here at the Glen for part two. All right. So we've seen the spring race. Uh, the setup was a little bit different from what we have here today. Uh, we're going to try to be a little more conservative. Have some more cars finish. So. It's, we did change some stuff on the setup there, but other than that, uh, last week uh, we had a interesting race. Uh, if you've seen it, you may know what I'm talking about. Bristol, we had a pulsator win. Uh, Real Gaming Freak, who uh, was came in below the cut line, but is now above the cut line. Fifth in standings, second uh, career win, second win of the season. Uh, he's starting in the back. I don't know if he's be much contender, but again. Pitch strategy is going to be a thing. Um, I expect almost the exact same thing as we've seen in the cup race. Also, watch out for Chef Squid defending winner. He's starting inside the top 10. And uh, a few uh, part-time guys starting inside the top 10 as well that we may want to watch out for. One thing known about the Glen, as always, make sure pitch strategy is on. So we expect possibly a two-stop race, usually one-stop race. Fuel window will be around lap 14 to 17. Cautions could play a different role into that. Eric. Points battles heating up, as you mentioned. Tell us a little bit about NH, Bird, Thermal Gaming. Or let's go down the list. Let's start NH, Eric. Give us a little rundown on NH and Bird. Uh, well, uh, NH has been running real consistently. Not been doing all right, but uh, qual- uh, it's really to work here. Start in the back with all the points contenders. That points are really close. And a uh, good finish here. You could he can get in the fight with uh, Joey, Joey Paints and Barney Thresher the third. Yeah, it could be for the points leader. Right? That could be interesting. I'll cover a little bit about the guys that are just on the bubble. With Chef Squid, our defending winner of this race in the 91 starting eight today. Chef obviously had that big win at the Glen, looking to get some momentum. He's plus 19 above the cut line. For Chef, it's about avoiding an early wreck at the start, staying cool, staying productive, as I like to say in the top 10. And then figuring out pitch strategy. Sometimes when you're fourth through seventh on a run, especially at the last run of the race, you can save a little fuel, get off the gas, watch him do something like that. And then one more quickly, let's look at Dark Rain, the man, 16th, 24. He is literally the bridge of gap, as I like to call it. One point above, watch for him in the mid-pack. Let's get to the command, three, two, one. Drivers, start your engines! All right, command has been given. Engines are fired up, as Eric said today. Dripsy Shive, Evan H on the front row. Both guys know a thing or two about winning. Evan H, the champ from last year. Should be a good one. Zach 103 will be our cameraman getting the great shots as always. Eric will be all covering as well as a co-commentator. It's been a fun one, guys. It's been a minute since I've been back at the booth. Since Watkins Glen. Let's find out who can get the best of this 11-turn road course. Pace car enters turn 11. Watch for this turn. These cars tend to slide up. Pace car makes that hard right turn. Onto the pit road. Dripsy shot in that tide. Can he get going? We'll find out in the ride. A little rhythm there, but here we go to the green flag. Evan H, Dripsy shot. We're green at Watkins Glen. Coming into turn one right here. Dripsy shot goes a little bit right. Weave looking a little lower. No, we're going to get a big run a little wide there. And now the Weave's going to take the lead as we got a wreck in the back. Oh, hard wreck. That's going to be a caution. That will be a caution at anybody in the tires, as always. 
cautions out. We will lead us back. But let's see uh, what happened back there, just for the heck of it. As they are fingering it out. Yeah, it's going to be Brandon Nelson. Eric, want to do a little commentary on this? Go for it. All right, they had their turn number one, as we can see here. Uh, Brandon Nelson. Oh, gets the inside of the nine car. Oh, and now shove the, the target car right into the wall. It's Roger Pet. Uh, Roger Pet in uh, number one. And I believe those are the only two casualties. Roger Pet and Brandon Nelson. Really not. A good day for those two as we ride on board with Quadruped. Yeah, Quadruped here going to use the brakes. Nelson goes a little bit. So you, oh, the nine, nine got into the 03 and boom. Right into the tires. Yeah, yeah that's that, hard. That's what I said. Uh, Engine just stopped. There's nothing, nothing going there. Been, yeah. yeah, probably a fuel pressure. Let's look at not a weeb here as he did not get the lead. Looks like it's Tripsy. Go into oh, let's see how that happened. Because oh. we are under yellow. Let's see, I think Dripsy looking at the S's, he didn't have the best run. So he must have been coming. Oh, here we go. 48 hit the wall. Yep, just slid a little bit. Oh, yeah. 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 What an avoid. What an avoid. There a lot of people skim the wall. One thing to note to the fans, the wind condition is, I believe, southeast around 16 miles per hour. That is a different wind condition, as Zach mentioned on the top of the broadcast. Should be something to watch, something to note. All right, that's going to conclude the replay of that wreck. Accident's been cleaned up for the most part. We'll probably take this, I believe, an extra pace lap. Pitch strategy here. If you really wanted to be someone, let's say, an undercut, and you wanted to pit and make it a, a two-stop race, you could do it. The fuel window is open for a two-stop event. Uh, realistically, I think, excuse me, with this caution, you should be able to get the lap 17, 18 if you save enough fuel. For every two caution laps is the equivalent of one green flag lap. I think we're going to get a split strategy, though. Just oh, as I say that, Zach, here is. comes Weeb. Is he going to be a lone wolf, though? I don't know if that would be a great call if he is a lone wolf, but we'll see. Track position does matter, but this would be... I don't know about this call. I mean, you could... You could... You'd have to stretch it to lap 17, and then you'd hope the field would come in around lap 16, 18. All I could think of here, if you make that call, you're going to try to get less fuel in the last stop of the race. He tries to extend the window to lap 20, whereas everyone has to, everybody else has to take fuel in lap 14 to 16. It'd be an interesting call. We'll find out. We have some cars in the back pit as well. Yeah, 64 Shangle. and the 82 sit 97. Okay. Uh, 37 uh, don't count because he was involved in the wreck. 40, maybe maybe okay. the, uh, well, I guess 37. He may have pit for damage, though. We'll see. We're going to go green this we'll time? See how, yeah, we're going to go green. We're going to see how Weeb does at the back. Let's do a top 10 rundown. Eric, go for it. All right. Top, top 10 as they run right now. It is the 54 in first of... Of a Dripsy. drizzle shy, a gypsy shy. A uh, second, the twenty. You see, uh, three, three, uh, th three X gaming, three X gaming, three X gaming. Uh, third, Evan H in the eleven car. Fourth, Sean Arden in the sixty-seven. Uh, round up top five, Riley Gorse in the sixteen. It's Jet sixty-four, the 07. Squid in the 91, uh, Spring Winner, uh, Eli the Wolf in the 99. Then round up top 10 is Lethal Mordner in the 44. Actually, it'll be Cody Forge in the 10th because uh, we pit, so Cody Forge technically is 10th as we did pit. Now they will double up here as uh, they get off the, the uh, carousel. It's all good, you know. You'll see the usual double up there. Now, Zach, one thing to note, obviously it's been a minute since I've been in the booth, but the restart is critical. We, we talk about one car length. We need we need to explain that to the fans out here. Uh, we want to explain the rules for anyone new since the last race here with the Glen. All right, yeah, the rule, we've been consistent with it. If there is a definitive car length in between two drivers, 
after they have crossed the line to start the race, it would be called an unfair advantage. They would be given a black flag or an EOL, depending on the flag condition uh, that uh, it would be on for their penalty to be served. Very good. Thank you for the rules, Zach. Will be something to watch here for Dripsy Shive. And more importantly, can 3X Gaming control his uh, temper right here on the restart? Also, Pace car is going to make that hard right turn off into the pits. Shive had an interesting start to start the race. Can he keep it more controlled? We're about to find out as the helicopter shot brings us in the restart zone. We are a green flag again at Watkins Glen. That's a clean start. Also, another thing to mention, the 20 car uh, got a win taken away at Daytona Beach for an illegal restart violation. That was Everyone's playing it cool. Cody Ford's three wide. Ooh, it's Cody oh. back there, three wide. You got to be careful. That doesn't look promising. They're leaning. They're going to get away with it. For now. For now? <laughs> yep, for Still. now. They'll get away with it. Ooh, goodness. Back at the front, Dripsy Shives. You see the top four starting to battle heavy from second through fifth as Dripsy runs away. Evan H right now a little bit on the grass, going to give X to run. R looking lower to get some clear on the nose. Start to file in line right here is, once again, Dripsy Shy, big gap. Let's watch that gap. Zach, let's go to Dripsy Shy. Let's see if he hits the wall right here. Yeah, too much slide. momentum. He missed the exit. He's going to hit it. Yep. Uh, oh, yep. He missed the exit. Where's Ard? Whoever's in second. Not Ard. Oh, 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 Ard going three wide? Is that sent, Sean? Oh. Full set? Uh oh. That's not good. No, that's, that's good. That's Sean Ard full sending. Look at this move. He's going to get away with it. Sean Ard. Full send, Sean. Look at this. Keep the side trap up to the S's. Yeah, he still can. X is going to have to be careful. Now, the question for Art is, can he hang it on the grass? I think he'll get in line right here if I'm him. He won't. Evan A should be able to power by with the grass coming up. Yep. Exactly. Hit him already. You can see the tires are starting to fade just a little bit. There's not much tire wear here, but you can start to see... They're sliding a bit, a little bit. The rears are starting to come undone, as I like to say. I believe we've had no accidents, Zach. We're clean. Yeah, except for the one in the 03, but they were taken out in the first lap right, accident. Very, very good. Oh, you see you guys really sliding off into that runoff. Let's oh. see if Dripsy hits the wall again. Oh, he missed it again. Oh, shut up the... Oh, oh it's funny. Just those two cars. Um, oh, wow. He's going to do it again. Sean Art is sending tonight. Look at this. Goes a little lower. He's going to force X off the road. He forces H off the road. Sean Arnold is one of those guys in, in the battle for the points lead. He's six uh, with uh, 49 above the cut line. He may score big here. Art's just got to keep his head under his shoulders. Once again, it's Dripsy leading. Let's go on board with Sean and see where he's gaining time. See, Arts is going to go a little bit lower in the carousel, get some nice clean air. As you can see, Trips, he's starting to load up a little bit too much on the middle of the corner on exit. He goes a little wide. Now look at Art. He's going to use less steering input. The key when you're in second, less steering input down the back stretch here. Now peeks his nose in the braking zone, gets a little clean air on the brakes. Great right there. Really clean to the middle. Oh, is that pitting? Oh. Yep. Pit strategy. Oh, oh wait. Ooh. Yeah, pit strategy from the 54. Might, that might be the repair damage. Oh, I think that's a pit strategy. Let's see. Not, oh, oh, car yeah, on the wall. Right. It won't that's matter. A that's, a, that's a caution. That's big. 54 just absolutely snookered the field. 54 snookers the field. What's the caution? It would be the 121 Jonah Burridge. That means that's, Eric's right, though. Now you can fix a little damage on the wall, but that's big for Big this for race. Jonah, Let's too, because uh, he was about 20 points for the cut line. Let's see what it looks like NH got into him. And H there a little bit. Oh, it's going to be a bad one here. Oh, yeah. Avoids it, but like I said, down the front stretch, always a caution. Yeah, you got it. That one's wait. good. 82 avoiding. All right. Looks pretty good. Now the question would become who pits? Now, what this does is if the field window is scheduled to be around 14 to 17 laps, let's say we get two caution laps, he comes out around lap 70. If we get this race going back to lap 8, what this means is. 
tentatively, right? Not not confirmed yet. As 54, uh, they're actually racing the line right now. Eight hey. should have it right here. Or hit the wall. Yep. Yep. Evan needs it Arch. too because uh, he's not looking too hot in standings. So what we so what we're looking at here, just for the fans and viewers at home, what this, what really this helps is Weep. Now Weep came in on that lap two caution. He's going to get some extra pace laps here to save fuel. Cook those, clean those tires off, cool the tires down. He'll have a little bit of a scrub set. He could do something on the restart. The thing is, with the fuel window, is he'll start to realize that, hey, you know what? Uh, we got we got some chance. It's an outside chance to stretch into lap 22 if we can save enough here and make this a 10-lap race to the finish, which means two tires called. For Dripsy, at this point, you got to start thinking. If you came in at lap 6-7, Stretch to lap 17, 18, maybe. As Bobby Isaac's on pit road there. Yeah, probably with damage 32 has damage as well. He's actually yeah, calling yeah. it a race. 32 car won oh. the Zeklon 32 v 400 last you, year. That's XL, yep, XL. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at this Zek. My fault Tom here. XE. My fault there right there. Uh, I'm looking at Dripsy possibly to make this on lap 25, 26. And what he's going to do is probably a few only stop with similar to Chef Squid did, or just rights or lefts. And try to use that pit delta with less time. Let's see if it was a snicker call, though. Let's see who pits. Splits. Oh. We're going to split him again. Ah. Uh, oh, it's going to be just one, though. Hey. Oh, wait. No. Guy in second. Oh. Guy in second seems to be pitting. We saw that with Wee. That's interesting. It's, don't know if that's. I thought that would be a least... game issue, but uh, I don't see why there'd be a reason for it being a game issue. Not unless... a game issue. What this does well, is. Oh, I'll be able some cars in the back. On own pitting and NH pitting, I think that's for the uh, contact with the 121. I can understand it now. This is a lap. Oh, eight. Dripsy pitting Coming again. Lap nine. Yeah, something's going on with Dripsy. That or they're they're uh, making they're sure to fill wall. it all the way up to the rim. The brim. Unless he's looking to top it off and then try to make this with a seven. So he's looking to maybe go lap 26, 27. And what we were talking about with this pit stop here. You're already at the back, maybe do a five lap dash. But we are clean to go. Evan H will lead us back. Yep, so and watch uh, Sean Ard be the one on watch for penalty. We may have had a wreck in the back as well. That may be why the 32 and the 71 were having issues. Let's look at that real quick. Okay, let's see if we can find it real quick. Give a quick a brief, replay here. Brief, uh, it'd be this lap. It may have happened up front. I think it did. 71. Because both those cars were involved. Oh. Oh, the 81. Well, it would, it, I'm not sure if that was in the. After the incident, I think? Ah, team in a box. It was after because the caution lights are on. Okay. Not bad avoidance from the field, all things yeah. considered, though. Yeah, and they were racing to the line, so only the 81, 76, uh, 71, and uh, 32 were involved. And the 64 got some damage, too, but that was racing to the line. So, uh, yeah. We're back live here, they've already doubled up. Back up. live here, once again, it's going to be Sean Ard. Needs to control it a little bit. We know we talked about his sending mentality, but has to control on the start, not get a couple car lengths ahead. And for Evan H, just play it clean, man. You scrub those tires off, enter in the last corner. I'm looking at this race so far, Zach. It seems like you don't want to be the leader due to that last turn. The wind is playing havoc with the crosswind from the east, and it's giving the drivers less grip on entry, and it's forcing exit runoffs, which is big. So this, this is complex. Turn 10s and 11 right here. Once you get into this left-hander, and then you get into this right-hander. This complex is starting to turn havoc. Pace car will take that right hard turn real shortly. Eric, your thoughts on this restart before we go green? Oh, Sharn is sixth in the points. Night four above the cut line. He could, he could get in contention if he get a win right here. As they exit turn 11 down to the restart zone. Now let's go back to the TV game. Here we go. Green flag, clean restart are perfectly timed that actually. As no one makes it three wide, we're all clean double wide. Never mind. Oh, never mind. 
Oh. 66. Oh, there's Chet. There's a wreck. Oh. Is that going to... That's clean. That's good. That's good. That's only a one car spin. We should keep it green. He should be able to get back up. 82. Yep, one car spin. It was. Yeah, he gets it back going. We're going to keep that green. Back to the front. Sean Ard, second place right now. No draft, though. Big drafting help as Evan H still leads. That's Squid. Chef Squid. He's going to hit the grass, though. Ard should get the run. There it is. All right, so top three break away now. Let's see where Evan H is closing up. The, or sorry, Evan H. Who's in second? That is Riley Gorris. Just a little nugget here. Uh, the last time a part-time Dawn Patrol entry ran in this race, it was the exact same race. It was a Watkins Glen Fall race. Jeff Jordan got his first career uh, CCS win. Same team, same sponsor, same manufacturer. Evan hits the wall. It's going to give a big run to Gorse. Oh, Master, he's in the grass. This gives a good run to R2. Jeff Squid. Is there a wreck in the back? Squid going for second. The third. Might be something in the back, let's see. Nope, I think there was just a, a quick little wall hit. Nothing crazy, let's go back to the front. Oh, there's three wide. No, no three wide, we're good. Here comes, who's that, Squid? Yep. Squid cooking right now, this is from Calamari. Can he get to the front here? He has a great track, he's gonna pull out. The only thing he's gotta be careful of right here. The grass. It's the grass. Ugh, I don't think he's gonna have enough. Gorse should be able to handle it right here. Yep, there's the grass. Oh, but he did a great job on an exit. He forced Gord out the course outside of the, the grip, I like to call it. Mm -hmm. That's a great move. That's what you gotta do when you hit the grass. That's what you gotta do when you hit the grass. You gotta understand that guy's gonna have a little bit higher arc. Now let's see what Gorse can do into this section, leading for the first time. Hey, my Ooh, good move by Squid. Great move by oh, Squid. Yeah. Went a little lower on the nose and did a little clean. Got a little clean air under that nose and forced him high. Squid for the lead. Roach? Here Evan comes Evan Roach H. Evan H looking really good. At Roach is okay. He's going to play cool right there. Art's going to get back for fourth. Here comes Evan H up through the S's. Looks clean. He's got the lead. Can he clear though? No. Squid with a little side draft. Side draft continuing down the S's to the back stretch we go. It's going to be his top four right now. Right now, Evan H has the same debacle. Can he clear it before the grass comes? No. It's not going to be enough. Squid should be able to handily take the lead. Now the question is, will Roach get around? Yes. Does he get forced wide off that grip strip? He does. A little higher. Evan H does a great job. Puts his nose into the carousel. And slots in line. A little side draft. Let's go on. A rear chase is fine. It's fine. Let's see how Evan H tucks in. Less steering input. Really good on the brakes from Evan H. Back to the front, though. Ooh, Roach a little bit high. Does Squid make a mistake? Or does he learn? No. No, I think these guys are going to... I don't think you want to be leading on the last lap into that corner unless you've got about a half a second lead. Oh, wreck. Oh, we have a wreck. Oh, the in the back. That's an automatic cue because of their... Excuse me, caution. Hold on. Let's we'll see. Did he save that? Oh. Let's we'll see. He saved it. We're good. Oh, oh they're going to save that. That's, that's the save. Leader. We're good. Oh. We'll keep it clean. Let's keep it clean. It's a points leader. Yeah, and points leader. Second in points. Second in points right behind. That's a, we'll talk about that once the pitch strategy heats up. All right, let's go back to the front, though. Talk about the points battle after pit stops. That's something to note. Oh, it's Roach leading. The problem for Roach is that that dreaded turn 10 11 complex. Can he somehow figure out a control? You got to use the brake more. These guys are rolling the center fine. That's not the problem. Is they're, The problem is they're rolling the entries too much. Right here, not a problem. The center, he's rolling it too much, and he's forcing himself onto that pavement just a little bit with the left sides. And Evan H just goes a little bit lower, and boom, into the wall. H gets the lead. That's a big hit, too. Too comfortable with the uh, uh, clean air. Sean Art has disappeared from the pitcher. Did he pit? I'll see. He may have. That's a pitch. Yes, he did. Okay. So the 20 first, car. We're, we're, first the, we're right near the pit road, though. No, don't forget. We are near the pit road, no, but that is a little shocking due to the fact that we had a plenty of caution laps. You'd think they could make it to lap 17, 18 for a one-stopper. Oh, it looks like you got so some, some rear end damage, too. Not sure if that's a factor or not. Could be a factor of some crash damage. I was going to say, that's too early to pit for a one-stopper. Let's go back to the front. Evan H still leading. A squid hits the grass. 
see if Evan H can clear, use a little bit of that wake onto the bottom. Yep, Evan H does a good job. Side by side, it's the first time we had a side by side battle. While the leader gets a little clear, oh, they're really, uh, they're pitting, that's what I was gonna say. Jet64 will take the lead, but he will miss the wall. Impressive, first time we've seen someone miss the wall. Leader right, to the pits. So this is so this is an interesting pit window. The, those caution laps did not do anything. There's Joy Payne's pits. I think that's scheduled. Yep. Maybe not. That could be big. If not, let's go. Let's l l replay real quick of Joy Payne's. What happened? Is that a caution? Oh. Oh yeah, that's oh. a caution. That's a oh, caution. That is a big caution right there. Yeah, that's gonna cause a yellow. That's big. Joy Paints luck no luck continues at the Glen from Quadruped. And that was this a incident. Jeff Jordan also so involved. Big time. Jeff, oh boy. Yeah, Jeff. Unfortunately, in the paints, paints will. No, I don't want to say DNF, but it looks like everyone's painting as they swerve down the back stretch here, snaking. This is coming to caution. No, some are going to stay out. Jet's going to hit the wall. Ah. I missed it last and time. Roach will take the lead. So we got some people on different strats here. That's going to be interesting. All right, now the field is split up. When you're the first one to pit, usually you're uh, in a great advantage as the leader of the, of the pack for pitting. The, when you're the leader of the pitters, you'll cycle to the front. Problem is, what about... Uh, uh, Weave, that's the key. Gaming Weave came in early, the earliest. Does he pit here on the restart, or is he going to... I think he came in again. He may have. It, whatever strategy he did, that was probably not even... In out question, the window. Huh? Out yeah. the window. Evan H is back there. Yeah, it's out the window for Weave. And I, I think he might have terminal issue from the wall damage. All right, these guys will circle back. Let's check, let's check another replay with Joy Paints here as Evan H just, just kisses the wall. To the fans there. Yeah, looks like Jeff just turns underneath and bang into the wall. Oh, what a hit. Yeah. Left him in in the right to the wall. Heavy link. That'll Bad be luck the... for the 77. And definitely gonna hurt Joey Paints in the, the points here. Runner up in the points, really. Really a bad day for the 77. If, but if I'm a NH here, it, I could, I could probably, uh, I'd probably be happy right now. His crew chief probably told him what happened to the 77, and uh, he, he can, he can come out here with the, and the, uh, good, good points day, even take the lead. Not that far off from the, from the 80, from the 59 of Barney Threshold. Threshold. Oh, what is this? That's a pit strategy. Okay, so the Dripsy should... Everybody's pitting. Jacob Shangle did not... Okay, that's that's Shangle. He came in early, too. Alrighty. Changes things up a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Looks like everyone's pitting some two tires there from Jeff, but mostly it's forced tires and fuel. All right, so Jacob Shangle has not let all night, all day. It's going to have Dripsy, who's been at the front, pushing the pace. Salamander's there. Sammy in a box who got involved in an accident. Yeah, probably not as quick in that 23 car. I think we have six or seven seconds. Let's go to the ticker here. Just want to make sure. Let's get that ticker up front. All right. So we had the first seven guys, I believe. Well, that's not completely updated. But it looks like the first six or seven guys are going to be. I think R might be the cutoff uh, of that group who did not pit. 
They're going to be on older tires. The question is, the guys that pick, can they make it on fuel from here? Now, if they make it on fuel from here, they would have to go 17 laps. According to the calculations right here, with about four to six laps of yellow, they need another two to three more laps of yellow, I think, to be safe. That would give them about a lap and a half more if they go 14, 15 laps. They probably need two more yellows to get in the window as they double up here. If I'm the guys here right here, from Shangle all the way to Art, I believe, who's in that second MRE car with rear end damage, you have to probably get the lap 19 to be completely safe. The question remains, though, will this cause a stack up on this restart and we get a caution? If we get one more caution here, that could throw a massive rope into everybody. And the guys that pit here actually could sucker the guys that just pit into coming in for a little bit more tank of fuel. Just a little bit. And not let it play out because they know cautions are coming. It's something to watch. Jacob Shangle, though, will take us back to green. Dripsy obviously has been the leader on these restarts. He knows the thing. And there it is. I called it. He's pitting. Interesting call there. That's no, um, there won't be any penalties given on this start because of that. Unless no there's penalties. like a huge jump, but... No penalties, but Gar Salamander will now assume the point. Here we go, back into the restart zone. It's going to be Gar Salamander leading us back, and that is fine. We're going to allow that because, like yeah. I said, Re goofy didn't restart. know the distance. He couldn't know the distance. It was impossible. It was a goofy start. Let's slide. Oh! Oh, we got a that's double. I think someone in the tires. That's a, that's a caution. That's a caution. Someone in the tires. If they want a Yukio. Yuko Are you sure? The... I don't think someone hit the tires. No, they sit. Oh, well, oh, wow, there we go. Oh. That. If only they can keep it going, can they keep it going? Oh, it's oil. That's oil. Yep, yeah, no, that's a caution. No, I can't. I can't Almost. Almost had it. All right, all right, let's go back to the front, though. Dripsy has to. Yeah, you can't have oil all the way across the track. That's not realistic. And uh, good move by the officials. Let's see if Dripsy can control himself. Into this ten of ice pitting. Pitting this time would be interesting. Someone's pitting. No, he's gonna stay out. Interesting. Even with the swerving there, he hits the oh, wall, but he's got enough wall. distance. He's got enough distance. He should lead back to the line. Anybody else wreck? No, I think we're good. Well, the wreck fest continues at Watkins Glen. You saw the replay. There's nothing really to see there. Uh, for Yuko, Yoko and Jet, just really uh, unfortunate. Tangled up, Paulus avoided. And... Yeah, yeah, that's it. Jet did not avoid, unfortunately. Yeah, Jet unfortunately did not, yep. That's going to extend our... I, I said that, right? I I said... You may have, yeah. Our, as our list of DNFs may go a bit bigger here with that 51. <laughs> Uh, lucky no. dog. Maybe go to the 97 or 67 though. Let's see. I'm going EOL to 67 that way. He's at the back when he gets his lucky dog. Halfway through the race, let's get some mid race thoughts here from Zach103. Zach, thoughts of this race? A little bit more wreck festy. The wind change is different. Strategy all over the place. Uh, yeah, it about sums it up. Dripsy though, looking hot right now. I'll say that much. There, uh, one the race in 2021. As I see, their cars passing Sean He's gonna be going, getting his lucky dog. So he's gonna be going to the end of the line. Uh, we're gonna be going not green, not this time, but next time. But uh, yeah, again, this race, uh, not quite what I was hoping for, but you know, Thumb Three likes to throw some curveballs here and there, and uh, sometimes can't really be so prepared for those but in play major playoff implication for the 77 did not need that uh, 37 oh seven fifty one out of the race uh, 67 getting the lucky dog Trips yeah. pitting yep watch these pit stops here this should be enough this they should be able to make it from here everyone else could be questionable once we get more pace laps I think they need one more caution if you're the guys that pit last time by if you get if you get one more, I think caution, 
everybody that pit last time by, that would be the group of Roach and them, should be okay. For the 76 of Gunther, Sammy, Dripsy, he's pitting obviously. I think they have to still come in. I don't think they can just finish it out right here. In my opinion. Let's see what happens. Quite a few cars stay out. Oh, issue with the 16. I'm just looking at some mileage right here. So let's see what happened to Gorse. That was not 42. Jeff, Jeff. Is he going to the tail end of the line? He may, either that or, I mean, I didn't send him to the back, but either that or he's. Oh, what's Jeff he's doing? Oh, oh. Jeff, that, uncalled for by Jeff Jordan. That's uncalled for. That's going to be a EOL. Well, actually, I'll, I'll black yeah. him on the start. Nah, you got the black. What is he doing? Middle of the track. That, that's uncalled for. Right. Now, Jeff Jordan, bone, bonehead move of the race award goes to Jeff. I mean, middle of the track, and now he's up to speed. Something happened there. He might have been having the wrong pace position. We'll see. Well, Jeff's crew chief will have to investigate that one after the race. But for now, let's get to Eric's thoughts before we go back green. Mid-race. Well, uh... In quite rare effects so far, but, uh... And none of the points leaders are doing good. Only, uh... Only one, uh... I could... I don't know who can benefit from this, but, uh, we'll, oh, wait, can we uh, check the ch standings for a bit? The point standings, Eric, or the... Or the, the race standings. Uh, well, the only one who can benefit from this, I can see, is, uh, Dark X-Rain in 24, who I said could benefit from where he started. Eh, I'm probably right. <laughs> also, there's, a uh, Gypsy Shive. First, well, actually, no, that was rendering third, but... He's he's in the back right now, but uh, yeah, the only one I could see uh getting in the benefit from this is uh Dark X Rain in 24, who, who sits right on the border of the deadline, dead, the dead zone. Yeah, the cut line, correct. Yeah. Oh, oh what's what that? Oh, oh, what the? Oh, uh, that's a black flag for Sammy in the box. I mean, he can't be. I mean, he's he's pitting, but yes, he is. He'll have uh, to get help the server that are black at the end, at the end of this pit stop. You can't be hip checking. All right, we're gonna go back to green here. Gunther now will lead us to green. As pace cars off into the restart zone, we go. It's Gunther leading us back. Will we go three wide? No, clean start. Well, Sammy in the box will serve his penalty on the ensuing lap. As we there, it is. oh, oh no, they save it. M maybe. No, oh, oh bad wreck. Oh, oh, no, we got our guard flipped over. That's a caution. That's Weeb. His his luck has run out. Shoot, Game they almost great. made it, too. I think what happened was they, they got too low. On, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> no, nope, hit the inside barrier. You'll see it right here. Looks like Chef Squid, the winner in the spring, got into him, will not be the winner tonight. Uh... Let's see for the 91. And then, oh, hard hitting. Oh, no, hard no, it's similar oh, to Jessica, 14, on her roof, upside down, in a very dangerous spot of the track. Sean aren't barely able to make it by. Hard to set that one in there like he always does, yep. Hopefully, let's go on board with Art. Though, right? All right. Let's go on board with Art, see how he set that one in. Yeah, I'm bored. Came here. Oh. Art's gonna see the wreck and look at this. Just sends it in. Oh. We'll lose the camera with Jessica, but it's just unfortunate for uh -oh. Chef Squid. What happened? Oh, we got. Oh, John Art in the pits. Cody Forge. Something happened. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Bad oh, accident. God. This was way back in the pack. This was coming to the caution here. They're taking the yellow. It's up ahead with Cody. Oh, no. Oh, four wide. That's not going to work. Oh, my. No. Four wide it's out. Oh, four no. 
no, 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 no. That's not going to be good. Thrasher's in it. Oh, Cody gets sent for a ride. Oh, Gorse. Oh, whole field stacked. Gorse on his lid. Right on top of Jeff. Gorse on top of Jeff. What an avoidance by Dripsy. Hard nowhere to go. Evan H. Salamander contenders are gone now. It's starting to turn into a demolition derby here at the Glen. Dang. Did not want that. No, we did. No, no, that's not. This is not. We, oh, we got another card. Is that Gunther? Yeah, he's probably got a lot of damage. Car is going to the back. They're going to oh, come to pit road goodness. and call the day. Someone's spinning back there. That's no, the... someone's blowing up. Of course. Oh. Yeah. That... All right, pits are open. Yeah, we're gonna have a tons of ton of people on pit road for crash damage. I, I mean, now every I, whoever's left, it's gonna be a survival of fizz, can win this race. Uh, it's pretty much going to work. I think you spoke yeah. too soon when you said Chef Squid was out of it. Well, maybe he got some front end damage, but uh, yeah, I, I saw the front end damage. Uh, never know though with the Glen. You never know. Yeah. We could get more accidents. I thought I thought that front end damage with this car, this this body would pale it, but no. Sam in the box will get lucky with some EOLL. We're gonna be good to go this time by for green. As Squid just That's uh, just some pace bunching. It's not too big of a deal. Um... Alright, let, let's go back to the ticker here. Eric's gonna give us a top ten rundown. Alright, uh I now lean the, is the forty five. That is uh, Ze Zeville. Zeville. Zeville going to lead us back. In second, the 44 of um, of Lethal Mourner. Lethal Mourner. Yep. Lethal Mourner. And, Co and Kazo in the 40. We'll, we'll, start, we'll restart third. Fourth. The 24 of Dark X or Reggie Fulgerman or no Dark X Rain or Reggie Fulgerman. Oh, what? And then Dark X Rain, the guy who's out, definitely been fan a lot and being quite a survivor here in this race. Then uh, six Crazy BGG, who's who's uh right behind who's right behind him in points. Uh, and NH and NH in seventh, and it's Roach in eighth, 28. A uh, Bradley Ream, who who's been quiet all day long, and uh, tenth to twenty of a three X gaming. As your top ten, really the guys benefiting from this are uh, Dark X Rain, the thir thirteen of Crazy BGG, and uh, the seventeen and of uh, NH, and also Bradley Ream. Yep, thank you for that run down, Eric. It's going to be interesting, Zach. This is a you think this would be the money restart, but the way it's going, probably not. What do you think over under the cautions? I'm going to say two. Over under. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, I think they may get their stuff together. we got some damaged cars we don't have to worry about, though. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to say over, unfortunately. I just think these guys are too aggressive uh, on the starts, unfortunately. I'm, I'm going to go with over, but they may have enough cars to uh, not wreck, but hey, you never know. Going to be a survival of the yep. fittest. Pace car is going to turn to make that hard right turn. Will this be the last restart? Can Zevil get a good start? Does Lethal Mortar play into something? We'll find out. Pace car's off. Back into the Geico restart zone we go. Zevil for the sixth time night leads us back. After a sixth caution, we're green flat here again at the Glen. And it's a good start from both guys in the front row. And they're already going through wide. And Let's that's going to... Oh, Rain really sent it in there. I'm not sure about that one. He's going to get away with it, though. All right, they're able we'll to go, back out. go for Smart the first corner. All right, we won't have a first accident on the first corner there. It looks like Rain's looking for third as Reggie Fogelman gets backed up at the start. Hadn't talked much about Crazy Peaches. There's a move! Oh. Lethal Moore, can he get to the grass? No. Does he force Zev a little bit high off the grip strip? Just a little bit. Great turn there, a great recovery from Lethal Mortar on the carousel. He forced Zevil off. Now the question will become for Zevil. Can he understand the crosswinds in turn 10 and 11? Let's see what his braking is. Really good entry. Got a lot of pressure too. 
Ooh, he backed it up a little bit on it. the middle. Good entry there, but too high on the middle of the corner. He's going to hit it. Uh, oh, but he back, he, he break checked in a way. He used a little bit of the block pass there, three wide. There was the last oh, lap, but it worked. It's going to uh, work, though. What a block pass. Block ooh, the fence, really. Oh. Can they make it through? Yes. Dark Ray and fourth. They're three wide still behind. They still sort that out. Yeah, Reggie does. Somehow. Now, Lethal Moore up through the gears, up through the S's, leads the race. Give a nice little gap. Crazy are we clean? There. Crazy B, are we clean? No accidents, right? We clean, just to make sure. Um, oh. I don't see anything too out of 89, check. I think, is okay. I think he just might have had a single car. All right. We'll check it on pit road this time. By if he's on there, it's blowing up. Then we got just check real quick. Let's see. Yep. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he was on before we even went green. Wait, We're no, good. no. Uh oh. As long as he doesn't leak fluid on the track, we should be good. That or if he just went straight to the to the speed truck. up a little bit. Um. Is where Brad Stover? I think it's good. I think he just. I think he just went into the pits. We're good. All right. Yep. We can safely assume he just went to the pits. We're good to go. Back to the coverage with Lethal Moore. Or Zevil. Or Zevil. Okay. Oh. Zevil Moore. Rain and BGD are back there. It's getting good. See yeah, that? That's the battle for the cutoff there. Yeah, it's the cutoff battle. The... Oh. Oh. Zevil was a little wide to the grass. It's going to give a big run to the mortar. Can Dark go anything on the outside? No, too much on the outside. But Lethal Moore screws up the corner. It's going to give great run for Zevil. Down the back stretch we go. Great breaking distance right there from Zevil. Mortar a little bit off. He's going to be a little bit off on the eggs. He's going to be wide. He's going to be wide. You can see it too wide. Off the grip strip. Into the marbles, bam, into the wall. It's a big run coming from Zell. Oh, oh they're running. Oh, one on the wall. It's that's a big wreck back there. That's a caution. That's a caution. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh, the huge one. That's a huge one. The huge one at the Glen continues. And I think they're still racing back. Yeah. Oh, Bradley Ream. Too much, too, mu that... too much car in though. You can't. Yeah, no, too many cars. You can't, you can't not throw a caution there. Unfortunately. Eli the Wolf, I think, got turned. Oh, just huh? missed the pit lane. Huh? Turned himself. Turned himself. BG. Oh, no. B and O. Just climbing right behind him. He's able to drive away, but, oh, he's smoking. That could be oil. Nah, it's confirmed cautionary. At this point, it's just Bradley yeah. Reeves sitting in the middle of the track right here. Not as bad as you thought it was, but just the oil, unfortunately. And... Car's getting on a slow getaway. That's going to be a caution every time. Hate to see it, but uh, bummer. All right, let's go back to the restart here. Or not restart. Back to the line. Let's see if they're still racing. Let's go to Zevil. That yeah, looks like Zevil did get it. Yep, Zevil got. Dark will be third. Lethal second. Oh boy, buckle up, folks. We are going to have a shootout. The question is, everyone should make it on fuel. Did the crew chiefs call this right? That's it. Fuel strategy is always a key when it comes to racing. Did these guys call it right? Is the only question. As we uh, get the, wheel, the field punching back up, we saw the replay. Zach, what's your thoughts here? Do you think these guys have enough field to finish it? Uh, only time will tell. Um, uh, thing is, if they can make it a lap, um, keep it green for one lap, I think, uh, I think it'll be all right. To... Depends on, uh, see, we're going to lap 29 here. We're going to lap 30, so we'll have a two-lap dash. Let's see. Won't be going into overtime unless there's a caution on that one. Take that gamble. Restart. 
Well, you, uh, Eric, you don't really want to take a gamble here. Track position's king. It's just the only way you gamble really is there's someone in the back for fresh tires, and I, I don't see the point of that this way in the game. Yeah, we will have a three-lap dash to finish this race, unless we get a caution. Now, remember the overtime rules. We get a caution on the white. Race is over. We race it back. Caution with two or three laps to go. And we go to OT. Here we go. This is going to be a restart for Zevla. He needs to understand. He's done a pretty good job on the starts. Lethal Mortar as well. Don't want to get a penalty right here. Like I said, we're pretty lenient in the control towers. Can't go more than two, three car lengths and go crazy. They can make it through turn one. I'm thinking they can make it through lap one of that next restart. Just looking at it right in the field, bunching up. You see, just look at some of those points containers. Eric mentioned dark rain. And you got to think for dark. It's not about winning this race. It's not about finishing, you know, even 15th. It's just about finishing top 10, getting a good result, maximizing your day. You look at someone like NH, obviously Thrasher, Joy Paints, a lot of issues in the points. Same thing. It's not about winning the race when you're that far back. It's just about... Well, actually, Thrasher recovered nicely. It's big for him. But for NH, if he's trying to get into that points battle, third in points, could have a chance to get to paints. Bird, not so much. Gaming Freak's had a rough day. Ard's had a rough day. Drummer Chick, rough day. Gaming's been okay, but all over the place. Dripsy, same thing. All over the place. It's been a... Battle of the finish, I guess you could say. But Crazy B and Dark Rain, they ran that cut line. With Jonah out, Bradley Ream out, really. Jessica in a rough day. Fireball's big days that are just not gone right. Zevil, on the other hand, right behind Fireball. He gets a win here. That changes the point picture. That could put him maybe not at 16th, but right around that 17th, 18th line, depending on how he finishes out and if he can lead this last couple laps. Some note, for sure. Definitely. All right, let's get to it. Eric, uh, real quick, five seconds. Thoughts on this restart? Who do you think gets it done? Well, the, well, the, ob the obvious answer will probably be the uh, uh, probably N17 or maybe the uh, the 24. He's been quiet all day. He could get run here, but he's got to deal with the 45 and the 44, who's also been quiet, but they've been That's good, consistent. Eric. That's good, Eric. It's good. I'm going to say uh, Lethal Moore will get it done. I think the leader into one uh, will be fine. It's just the leader into this crosshair section will be a problem. That's where you want to be second. Pace cars off. Will this be the last restart of the night? Zevil's been on it on these restarts lately. Can he continue that? Into the pace car zone. It's restart zone we go. Three flags back in the air. It's an even start for both guys. Three wide is another thing to watch. No one does it. Dark plays it cool. A little bit of a bump there, but not. A little not. bit of a bump, but plays it cool. Zevil will have the lead. Now Dark's going to have a nice run right here. But he checked up a little bit, and I think it's going to give Zevil a nice breakaway. He has a toe from the 40. That, that, that helps him, and he clears the, uh, the 44. There's Everyone's the bus stop. Just going to file a line here. The question now becomes... What does Dirt do into the carousel? How low does he go? Perfect. That's what she wants. He dive in the center right there. Gets a great run. And he's going to use the draft. Watch the breaking distance right here. He'll close up. Pack is separating. We might be able to get at least to the white flag the way it's going. Yeah. Oh, someone wide. Chef Squid. Squid's wide. Into the wall. They're both into the wall. Here comes Mortar. 45, 54 in pit road did not hit Dripsy. the oh wow Dripsy. oh three oh, wide we the war are gonna send it in there can he make it stick no dark rain the middle use a little bit of extra curve here they go into the essence can they go side by side dark's gonna use a little side draft now we throw more backs off dark gets a little bit of a run uses that slip curve here comes dark rain again on the outside can he power through no we the war's gonna use a little side draft down the back Ooh, I think if you're yeah, Lethal here, you gotta slot in. Right he there. can't slot in. Yeah. This is Dark's right here, because Lethal's gonna hit the grass. 
can make it he that white grass. flag. Oh, he, he sent it through the grass! Whoa! He sent it through the grass and he's gonna keep distance. It's perfect. Now dark is not safe. What a, if that's if that's the winning move of the race, remember lap 31, we gotta look at that. He sent that through the grass and put his foot in it. Now, can dark clean up on exit? We look like, looks like we have no accidents, right? Uh, Please. other than the 54 pitting, no. No. Can Dark get to the white? He will. Oh, Lethal's in the wall. Dark's gonna get to the white, but we lead the last lap. White flag's in the yeah, air. Bell lap has begun. Oh, Zevil sends it. He sends it. Three wide. It doesn't matter. Everything on the last lap's fair game. Ooh, Zevil now. He's got the lead. Dark goes a little high. Now the question for Zevil, can he back up and up into the entry here? Yes, he's going to have a great run down the backstretch. Can he get clean in the bus stop and avoid the grass? Dark and the 17 of NH are battling side by side. Too much side draft. they got to sort it out. This could be enough of a gap. Dark does indeed sort it out, though. Is that enough? That's seven tenths right there. Dark's going to have to have a run of his life through the carousel. He does not. Zevil coming off the carousel now into the grass. He avoids it. Down the backstretch for the last time. Does he have enough of a gap into the crosswind with 16 mile per hour winds from the southeast? He gets into this left-hander. Pretty clean. He backs it up. Dark's pushing for all his might. They're too wide back there. Can he avoid down the grip strip? Yes, he does. Into the wall. Yes, but Dark hits it. That's going to be enough. Zevil coming off the final turn, turn 11. Gets some Empire State glory as he wins at Watkins Glen. First career win as well. Wow. Pop the champagne for Zevil. You might as well call him the devil. What a job by Zevil the devil. Great job for him. Really executed that last lap to perfection. Great exit on the carousel. Had the gap distance knowing if you hit the wall, you got enough of it. And Dark just unfortunately was pushing too hard on exit on turn 11. But let's go back to that lap where uh, Lethal Moore set through the grass on lap 31. That was crazy. As it comes home sixth. You see, he does that three-wide move. You're thinking right here, he's got a great shot. Dark closes it up. Beautiful. That's a veteran move by Dark. You close it up on... And you can't see it from TV1, but he closed it up. He pinched off... Uh, just pinched him off enough. And just a little side draft there, and watch what happens. He's offline. Offline, 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 offline. Now, Zevil starts to come back, but watch the draft just Constantine up. These next-gen cars with the wing, they Constantine up from the diffuser. Yep, and watch him send it through the grass right. Boom, full commitment. He used a little bit of the brim and just ran with the full commitment and was able to get second. But unfortunately, as we speed up the process, he hit the wall, and Dark hit the wall, and it Came backed him sixth. up. Yeah, he, he, they both hit the wall, and it was a block It was a, it was a block of air, and nothing Lethal Warren could do. He needed to go a little lower to have a run. But what a job by Zevil. Zach, your thoughts on that one? Uh, yeah, that was great. Last few laps. Unfortunately, most of the race wasn't as clean as I was hoping it was. Uh, salvaged, a de salvaged what we could out of it. Uh, pretty much same amount of finishers as we had in the spring race. Uh, big points. Uh, playoff implications. Uh, it's definitely something we're going to have to discuss. Guys led laps. And most laps is going to be a 10 point bonus along with all the points for every lap you've led. Uh, but Zevil gets his first career win. Uh, funny enough, he's good friends with Chef Squid, so I'm sure he'll have a share in some champagne after this. Uh, but other than that, that's uh, my thoughts on it. Eric, thoughts, final thoughts here to close out the night? I believe uh, it, it been pretty wreck fast, but the the finish there, it kind, it kind of makes up for it. Oh, so a uh, great day for the 17 of NH. Uh, he, he probably will... Will not get the points lead, but he will close in near the in the points battle. Uh, Dark X Rain finishing third. He, he definitely probably gonna probably save himself there from the from below the cut line. Also, Crazy BGG, you know, with the with most of his uh, fellow uh, cut line guys uh, got taken out. He he's gonna probably uh, benefit from this. Yeah, it's and, uh, the point. Points battle will be interesting. Last thing, what was you say, Eric? Um, yeah. Okay then, uh, that will that will conclude Eric's thoughts. Yeah, once again, like I said, guys, basically summed it up. 
a bit of a wreck fest, but good strategy all, all over the map. Interesting how a lot of guys from second pit. But once again, congratulations to Zevil. Knew what he was doing on those last couple laps. Used the crosswind effectively and took it home. For myself, Eric Monaco, and Zach 103 TV. This has been a Zach 103 TV Productions. I will see you guys at Kansas for my next time. I'm commentating. You'll see Zach back, though, at Martinsville for some short track beating and banging. As the playoff hunt continues, four races to go for the playoffs to decide who will get in, who will win the regular season, and most importantly, we'll be seeing you next week.